Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve another very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we are going to evaluate expression x over y plus 1 whole power 77 plus y over x plus 1 whole power 77. Given that x over y plus y over x plus 1 equal to 0. So let's get started by writing our required expression is E. And this equation is known to us. Now I can write here x cannot be equal to 0, y cannot be equal to 0 and x cannot be equal to y. Now we will use substitution. Let's say this bracket x over y plus 1 equal to alpha and this bracket y over x plus 1 equal to beta. So our ultimate expression which we are looking for in terms of alpha and beta will write alpha power 77 plus beta power 77. This is our required expression. Now we will calculate alpha plus beta value. This will be equal to x over y plus 1. This is alpha. Beta is y over x plus 1. Now as per given equation, we can put this value equal to 0. So 0 plus 1, this will be equal to 1. Our alpha plus beta is 1. Now we are going to calculate alpha beta. So I will write here alpha x over y plus 1 times beta y over x plus 1. Let's multiply both the brackets x over y times y over x 1 x over y times 1 x over y 1 times y over x will write y over x 1 times 1 1 again 1 plus x over y plus y over x, this is equal to 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So we have two important equations, alpha plus beta equal to 1, alpha times beta equal to 1. So this is recalling sum of roots, product of roots. We can think about one quadratic equation. Let's say equation in t whose roots are alpha and beta then we can write quadratic in t t square minus sum of roots alpha plus beta will write here times t plus product of roots alpha times beta equal to 0. Now alpha plus beta is 1 which we calculated alpha times beta equal to 1. So our quadratic would be t square minus t plus 1 equal to 0. Now if I will plug in t equal to minus 1. Let's put t equal to minus 1. So minus 1 is square is plus 1 minus times minus 1 is plus 1 then we have plus 1 is this equal to 0 no it is not so we will say for our quadratic equation t square minus t plus 1 equal to 0 t cannot be equal to negative 1 for this equation now i can multiply our quadratic equation both sides by t plus 1. So I can write here t plus 1 times t square minus t plus 1 equal to 0 times t plus 1 where t cannot be equal to negative 1. RHS is 0. LHS is one formula. This is t cube plus 1 cube. So I can write 
टी क्यूब प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो और वी कैन राइट टी क्यूब इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन एज फार एज आवर प्रॉब्लम इज कंसर्न नाउ वी विल पुट टी इक्वल टू अल्फा एंड टी इक्वल टू बीटा वेर टी कैन नॉट बी इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो वी कैन अप्लाई टी इक्वल टू अल्फा एंड टी इक्वल टू बीटा टू दिस इक्वेशन आई विल राइट हेयर टी क्यूब इक्वल टू माइनस वन टी इक्वल टू अल्फा we will get our first equation alpha cube equal to negative 1 and for t equal to beta we will get our second equation beta cube equal to negative 1 so two important results we have now we are going to evaluate or calculate our required expression alpha power 77 plus beta power 77 now we are going to use properties of exponents so i can split first 77 as 75 plus 2 beta power 77 will be equal to beta power 75 plus 2 now we know that a power b plus c any time we can write a power b times a power c let's apply this property from exponents e will be equal to alpha power 75 times alpha square plus beta power 75 times beta square now we can write 75 as 3 times 25 so we will write here alpha power 75 we will write 3 times 25 Times alpha square plus beta power seventy five. We will write three times twenty five times beta square. Now we know the property from exponent a power b times c. Any time we can write a power b whole power c. Let's apply this property from exponents. E will be equal to alpha cube. Whole power twenty five times alpha square plus beta cube whole power twenty five times beta square. Now we have two equations: alpha cube equal to negative one, and this is also equal to beta cube. Let's plug in. both the values to our expression we will write e will be equal to minus 1 whole power 25 times alpha square plus minus 1 whole power 25 times beta square now negative 1 with odd power will be negative 1 we will write minus alpha square minus beta square or we can take minus common out so in the bracket we will be writing alpha square plus beta square this is our expression let me write here e equal to minus of alpha square plus beta square now we can use algebraic identity minus of we can write alpha plus beta whole square this is alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta so we have to take away 2 alpha beta now we will write our known equations alpha plus beta equal to 1 and alpha beta equal to 1 let's put the values we will get e equal to Minus of in bracket alpha plus beta whole square so one whole square minus two times alpha times beta is also one. Now we will write this is equal to minus of one square is one minus two times one this is two. I will write here minus of minus one. 
So our final answer becomes E equal to 1. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.